we've loved Danganronpa for years, and how I found the games were through a YouTube video. It was a guess if this anime is real, and someone said a teddy bear forces high school students to kill each other. So as a true anime fan, I proceeded to watch Danganronpa the animation in one night. Then going through comments, I found out, oh, holy moly, it's based off a game. And that's how I fell down the rabbit hole of Danganronpa. But I still kept out of the fanbase until now. Why exactly? Well, I was fine vibing with the games by myself. But recently, I started going on Danganronpa subreddits and joined TikTok. Right away, I was recommended Danganronpa jokes. Then cosplayers, and sooner than later, I realized I'd been watching TikTok for hours. But as I kept watching, I would see posts talking about the toxic traits of the fandom. One obvious thing is Kokichi. But listen, this one goes both ways from what I've seen. Some Kokichi kins are awful, insulting others, and getting into heated arguments about ships. But I've also seen videos where people say, if you like this character, get off my page. Which, I'm just going to get off your page, no big deal for me really. But you have to see the hypocrisy. Taste is subjective. You're going to like different characters than me and that's perfectly okay. There is really no reason to insult each other, alright? Cosplaying in Danganronpa is amazing. I've seen people really nailing characters, and you can tell they put their heart into it. I even have my own favorite accounts I love to see on my For You page. And not to mention, the Himako cosplayers are always amazing to see. And the few Gonto ones I've seen are absolutely stunning. But with every good thing, there's going to be bad things that come with it. And here's where the commenters come into play. First thing, insulting people for their skin color. Are you fucking serious? There are so many things wrong with this. Anyone can cosplay anyone. Skin color doesn't matter. Hair color doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter. I've seen comments calling black cosplayers monkeys. It really takes zero effort not to be racist, but here we are. There is no excuse for that shitty behavior, all right? No excuse. And if you are so serious about, they're not black, characters aren't white either, they're Japanese. I know it isn't just a Danganronpa fanbase who has problems with this, but hey, we do too. Let's not ignore it. I'm not into gatekeeping, but if you think black people can't cosplay anyone they want, get out of here. There was a creator who was asking if he would make a great Tandro, and honestly, he would make a fantastic one. He looked uncanny with the earrings. I'm really excited to see his cosplay. But there were people in the comments saying no because he's black. Not that much effort to move along. So if you have those thoughts, keep them to yourself. I've also seen cosplayers getting insulted for really things that shouldn't matter. Accessories. I seen a Junko getting bashed in her comments for having a bunch of hair clips. Who does that harm? Why can't they add whatever they want? I'm not a huge fan of it, but it doesn't affect me. So I like the video and move on. Not that hard, guys. Here's another thing we have to understand. There are going to be people just starting cosplay, all right? Do not get angry at someone for not having a perfect cosplay. Cosplay can be expensive, and some people are just learning how to make them. Especially since the majority of cosplayers who get trashed for this are children. So chill out. Another common thing I see is anger with spoilers. Yes, yes, spoilers suck, they do. A lot of mine came from me looking up a character and seeing death follow their name. But here's something you have to remember. The games first came out 10 years ago. People are going to assume that if you're scrolling through Danganronpa TikTok, you've seen slash played the games. Listen, it's okay if you haven't, but it's on you to avoid spoilers if you're scrolling. If you see a Danganronpa video, pass it up for now. While it's nice for people to include spoiler warnings, they don't have to. For people who react so hostile when they see spoilers is not okay. There is a Kaede cosplayer getting death threats for not including a spoiler warning. I'm not going to say their account, cause that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to tell the hostile fans to, I don't know, knock it off? Since Danganronpa is a game about murder, you would think the fanbase is mostly older. But that's not the case. A lot of the fanbase is underage. Hey, I was a minor when I found it, and I just recently turned 18. So knowing that, you would think some people would behave better. I know there are more incidents, but I'm only going to talk about two I witnessed personally. And again, I'm not going to name the accounts, not here for that. There is someone who runs a fan account for a character, but I've seen them mentioned several times they are a minor. I know you all are simps, okay? I'm a simp too. But making a minor uncomfortable is not excusable. If someone asks you not to make sexual comments in general, it should be respected regardless of their age. But them being a minor makes it even worse. I don't care if they act like a character. Your want to be acknowledged by the character does not triumph the person's need to feel comfortable. The other incident involves another minor who is a cosplayer. 
sorry if this sounds a little off, I am recording in a closet and I changed positions because my lower back was hurting. That person cosplayed Angie, and some people thought it'd be okay to sexualize them. Just because a person is wearing less clothes does not mean it's okay to sexualize them. People should be able to wear what they want without having the fear of being degraded. Again, a situation where it shouldn't matter if they are a minor, but them being a minor makes the situation so much worse. Because of this, they said they did not want to cosplay Angie anymore. I even seen some people in the comments saying it was their fault for wearing less. That was heartbreaking. People shouldn't feel bad in the cosplay because people are acting like this. It's amazing how some people still have this point of view. No one should be made to feel uncomfortable because of their clothes. If you think that, you can literally fight me. I'm sure anyone watching this knew it was going to come up eventually. The doxing. Yes, some people have been getting doxed. I haven't personally witnessed any, but I've seen people talking about it. One that has been discussed the most is a minor being doxxed and murdered for not agreeing with the ship. From what I see, the fandom is split here. Everyone seems to agree they were doxxed, but some deny the minor being murdered. I'm not entirely sure what did happen. I myself have been having trouble trying to find information about it. The only thing I can find is other accounts talking about it. No matter what though, doxing anyone for any reason is not okay. You are risking someone's safety. Doxing is not okay. I repeat, doxing is not okay. If someone disagrees with you, move on. Just because you are interacting with people online does not mean this is a game. You are talking to other people. This is human lives we're talking about. The last thing I will talk about is head cannons, which on their own are fine. The problem comes in when people treat them as canon and get upset when others don't. Of course, ships are in this as well, but I won't really cover that. I love Kokichi, but I have to be honest. We do not know much canon stuff about him. We have hints, but there is not a full canon backstory like others. So do not get upset when people don't see your head canon like you do. I think the most popular example of this is the novel Danganronpa Togemi. I have seen people mention this as canon, but as far as I can find, it's not. I have also seen people mention the plot and characters don't make much sense, but I haven't read it so I'm unsure. But what I did look at was who created the novels. Unlike Danganronpa Zero, Danganronpa Togemi does not share the same creator as Danganronpa. The reason I target Danganronpa Zero is not only does it have the same creator as the games, but one of the characters of the novel are actually mentioned in V3. You would have to play the talent development plan as Junko and spend time with her sister where Junko complains about watching her childhood friend go through no despair. And that childhood friend happens to be a main character of Danganronpa Zero. I know the talent development plan isn't canon either, but I thought it'd be nice to mention Zero is included in the game somewhat. But Danganronpa Togemi isn't as far as I can find. Togemi's free events have nothing to do with it. They are mostly him taunting Makoto and talking about how he earned his title. Sorry for getting sidetracked, but my main point is Danganronpa Togemi is more likely a headcanon than canon itself. Which is fine if you have it as a headcanon, but do not get upset at others for not agreeing with you or treating your headcanon as their own. Respect others as you wish to be respected. Despite writing five pages about what is wrong with this fanbase, I love it. There are plenty of good in it. People are funny, kind, and the cosplayers are outstanding. Kokichi slander hurts, but I have to be honest, it's really funny. I would dish Kaido slander out there, but that is a different video, ladies and gents. I think we should work on improving this community. But I am also very proud to be a part of it. Not because of the bad, but because seeing others' views on the game slash characters generally makes me happy.